you look at nature, what is aggression for? It exists. It must have a purpose. The gathering is no rules. You're putting your life in your and your God's hands. There's a very good chance I'm going to get hurt. It's a brutal art. It's a brotherhood. Dog brothers. of people that think they know how to do this, but they never test themselves. I have so many expectations in my head, but I don't want to think if they're true or not until the day's over, you know, and then I'm going to reassess the day and figure out what I thought, what I thought was correct. I think with this kind of fighting, you don't have a pat on and you get hit there, you know you got hit and you learn. The diversity of people who come to this is quite broad, but somehow they discover a certain commonality. It's from doctors to lawyers to uh, musicians, computer people, artists. Oh, I bet you do the sales. I'm a software engineer. I'm a farmer. I finished the police academy yesterday. I'm going to go on the streets probably about a month from now. I have an immense amount of respect for anybody to set foot on the runway of Dog Brothers. It's not an easy thing to do. You gather up and people pick and choose who they want to fight. I don't know. I'm not going to check the fire. Okay. I'm looking for somewhere around it. The ceremony is about to begin. No judges, no referees, no trophies. Only you are responsible for you. So protect yourself at all times. The image that works for us here is that we are members of the same tribe, looking to prepare each other to stand together to defend our land, women, and children. This is not created for TV. This is something, this is real. part about it is it can fight any number of weapons, knife, stick. You can fight with pretty much whatever you want as long as you find somebody willing to go against you. I guess it's like, hey, I got a garden hose. We don't keep score, which is also a very important element of all of this. The idea is it's like we're members of the same tribe pushing each other. You push me too hard and you break me. Well, our team is going to be weaker. I've been broken. And so the fighters have to be in a state of awareness where they have this intuitive understanding of what the man in front of them can handle and can't handle. <laughs> A lot of people I work with can imagine me actually hitting somebody. Oh, you're too nice for this, too nice for that. Whenever I, I go into my mindset, whenever I'm about to fight, I look at it as a way to explore yourself. It's amazing what people can do when they're under that much pressure and people are cheering and all of a sudden, it just all makes sense to you. All the things that you've been working on come together all at once. Right, who's up? 
the main hassle of the whole thing is the time going up to the fight. All you have to do is tell yourself to get out on the mat. I think it might be like skydiving or something. Once you jump out of the plane, you don't have a choice. Right now, I'm on the bottom lung, rung of the ladder. Yeah, this is the first time that I'm going to be doing this. It's a chance for me to test myself. I can truly see if what I know and what I've learned works. And this is really one of the only ways I can do that. I find out if what I do is real, if what I know works. We fight and we hug, you know, and then we'll probably go back and talk about what we did. That was about how I expected it to be. Same here. Same here. Your four is great too. Come, come back. I was I was expecting to be able to close a little bit better. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. It's kind of amazing. You can be in that kind of a venue where it's so vicious and then you meet some of the most honorable people you'll ever meet. Good job, Chris. I think a lot of it, though, is that the fastest way to get to know people, as crazy as it might sound, is to fight with them. I was always a serious person. I like this, this kind of communication without words. I think each person, person needs something to express itself. For one is the music, from, for another one is painting, for me it's fighting. It's between a dance and a fight. The lesson I have to learn is to fight more aggressively. What is aggression for? If you don't honor it, acknowledge it, and give it a proper place, it doesn't know what to do with itself, how to be healthy with it. And so one of the things that this place provides is a place to exercise it and be healthy with it and to anchor it. I just think it's interesting how many people look at them and either think they're crazy or really aggressive, but the guys that fight in this are the most easygoing, laid-back guys. You never guess in a million years what they carry in their duffel bags. The best way to explain it is it's a transformation. I don't really look at it as a sport, I look at it as a search for yourself. It's almost like a meditation. One of the guys once said, he says, there's no truth, no meditation, which will put you in the present, in the here and now, like a stick buzzing by your head. <laughs>